Hey guys, my name is Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing the 2016 book survey, end of the year reading survey book tag. I'm not exactly sure what it's called. I'm just going to be answering questions about what I read in 2016. First, I wanted to start off with some quick stats. In the year of 2016, I read a total of 99 books, which ended up being 32,552 pages. The average length of pages in a book I read was 331. The average rating on Goodreads I gave is a 3.6 out of 5. And then the most popular book I read in 2016 was The Fault in Our Stars, which was read by 3.1 million people. And the least popular book I read this year was Mind Games by T.J. Moore, which was read by 35 other people. Let's just jump right into the questions. Question one is, how many books did you read and did you meet your goal? So, I read 99 books and my goal for the year was 75, so yes, I completed my goal even though I would have liked to read 100 and I was so damn close, just one book away. What a disappointment. Okay, most read genre is definitely contemporary and new adult romance. I read a hell of a lot of new adult romance in 2016 and hashtag no regrets. The longest and shortest books you've read. So the longest book I read was Illuminae at 600 pages. And that was actually the first book I read in 2016. And then the shortest book I read was Brokeback Mountain at 55 pages. My favorite book published in 2016. I could not decide between my two favorites. So I'm going with It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover and We Are The Ants by Sean David Hutchinson. These books were both published in 2016 and I love them both with everything in me. My favorite debut novel that came out in 2016 is The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. This is surprisingly her first novel and I really freaking loved it and it's a freaking fantastic debut novel and I'll read anything she writes now. Question is your favorite book that you read that wasn't published in 2016 but you read it for the first time in 2016 and I'm gonna go with Maybe in Another Life by Taylor Jenkins Reid and Him by Serena Bowen and L. Kennedy. These books were both published in 2015 I think but I read them for the first time in 2016 and they're both so amazing so 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 good highly recommend both next question a book that lived up to the hype dark matter by blake crooch this is a adult sci-fi thriller crazy book definitely getting a ton of hype right now and it definitely lives up to that hype i could not even believe how mind boggled i was by reading this book and if you appreciate a really good mind fuck then read this book next question is a book that did not live up to the hype good old me before you by jojo moy i did not like this book and it did not live up to the hype. This book is so crazy overhyped in my opinion. Next question is book that felt like the biggest accomplishment. And for this one, I'm going with Illuminae again because this book was so long. It was 600 pages and I didn't really care for it. I ended up giving it like two stars. I didn't even like it that much, but it was my first read of 2016. So I felt like I needed to finish it. I wasn't gonna DNF the first book I read of the year, you know, so I had to finish this book. And the next question is your favorite character that you read in 2016. And I'm gonna go with Atlas from it ends with us because I adore him so much and he's just a precious little innocent puppy and I love him. He deserves all the good things in the world. Next question is your least favorite character that you read about in 2016. Going with freaking Dakota from Nothing More by Anna Todd. And actually all of the characters in this book, I dislike them all, but particularly Dakota. Next question is most shocking plot twist. For this one, I'm going with The Kind Worth Killing by Peter Swanson. This one had a shit ton of shocking twists and I just loved this book the whole time my heart was beating so fast and it was just an amazing thriller highly highly recommend it next one is your favorite couple or OTP in 2016 for this I'm going with Jamie and Wes from him by Serena Bowen and Elle Kennedy because I could go on and on about them all day I just I love Jamie and Wes they're so cute OTP for sure. Next one is the best written book you've read this year. So with One True Loves by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This is a crazy love triangle and usually I can't stand love triangles but this one was written so well and so beautifully and it was heartbreaking and I cried a million times because the writing is just so beautiful. I highly recommend this book. Anything by Taylor Jenkins Reid is written so well. Next question is the book that you pushed the most people on in 2016. I'm gonna have to go with We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson because I pushed this book on everybody. I've been pushing this book on people since February when I first read it. I was just like, oh, and then I started talking about it in every single video and I've started pushing it on everyone. Like literally anybody that's like a book recommendation, I'm like, We Are the Ants, read it now. Next question is favorite book cover of the year. For that, I'm gonna go with the the Sun is also a star by Nicola Yoon because this cover is just so beautiful. I love these colors so much and just everything about it really like draws my eye. I just love this cover. I think it's so 
freaking beautiful. Oh. Next one is favorite adaptation. Go with Room by Emma Donahue. I read this book for the first time in 2016 and watched the movie in 2016 and I think it's a great book to movie adaptation. The book is really great. The movie is really great. I don't even know which one I prefer more but oh my god it's so good. And what book made you cry the most in 2016? We all know this one. It's gonna be It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. I was a sobbing mess while I was reading this book from about the halfway point all the way through the end. I was just literally sobbing. I couldn't even like read because my eyes were so blurry. A mess, but I love this book and it broke my heart and it put it back together. The next question is which book made you laugh the most in 2016? Kill the Boy Band by Goldie Moldovsky. Mostly because this book is a very dark comedy that had me like laughing so hard because dark comedies are my favorite and I was like dying of laughter throughout this book. And Maybe that makes me a terrible person, but I don't even care. All right, next question is a new favorite author that you discovered this year. And I actually have three amazing authors that I discovered this year, and that is Taylor Jenkins Reid, L. Kennedy, and Christina Lauren. They're all new adult romance authors, and I had no idea they existed before 2016, and now all of their books are like life, and they've all become three of my favorite authors ever. All right, next question is Guilty Pleasure Read of the Year, which I assume this means a book you probably shouldn't like, but you do anyway, and so I'm gonna go with Sex Love Repeat by Alessandra Torre, because this is a book about a girl who's dating two guys at the same time, and the guy are both aware of it and they know about it and so it sounds so crazy and so ridiculous but it's actually like a really good book so definitely a guilty pleasure of mine. And the next question is favorite book you reread this year? Uh, we Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson is actually the only book I reread twice throughout the year so definitely in this one and it's also like the first book I've ever reread. I'm just I'm not a huge rereader so that just shows how amazing this book is that I've read it twice in the same year. What? The last question is were you happy with your reading year? What will you do different in 2017? And yes I was happy with my reading year even though I would have liked to have read a hundred books total. I don't know what I'm gonna do different in 2017. I mean, maybe just try to read more of what I want instead of what I feel like I'm supposed to, you know? Like, I want to read more of material that I actually want to read instead of feeling like I have to. Also, I wanted to include one more question for favorite nonfiction book you read in 2016, and that'll be Scrappy Little Nobody by Anna Kendrick. I read a couple of different memoirs in 2016, like I read Amy Poehler's Tina Fey's and Amy Schumer's. This one is my favorite. I just, I love Anna Kendrick. I love her writing. It's just so cute and relatable favorite nonfiction book of 2016. Those are all of the questions on the 2016 book year end of the reading survey thing. Thank you so much for watching as always. This was super fun. 2016 was a great year of reading for me and I'm looking forward to 2017. I'll be putting in the description links for my Goodreads year and review of reading thing that they do with all the like little stats and I'll be putting links in the description for my wrap-ups for the year, a playlist for all of my 2016 wrap-ups if you want to see me talk more in depth about these books that I've been reading. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. I really hella appreciate it and I'll see you guys next time.